What is going on everybody? Welcome to my channel. This is Bama Saltwater. My name is Steven. How are y'all doing? We're about to go do some sheep's head fishing out in Mobile Bay. It's a beautiful morning. There are <laughs> lots going on this morning already at the boat ramp, but I got the beautiful scout loaded up and it is just going to be a great day. So how about y'all come join me? I'm going to get this boat launched and let's go ahead and get out on the water. sun's coming up it's gonna be a great day on the water i'm really after some sheep's head this morning so we'll see how that goes i did pretty crappy yesterday i got bites but i just lost a lot of fish we're gonna get redemption today but it's a little choppy but not like yesterday there's still a little bit of wind but let's go ahead and make it happen y'all stick with me and let's get to fishing All right, y'all, I just found some jetty rocks that I'm gonna fish. This time of year, the sheep's head and redfish should be all along rocks like this, and pilings and everything else, because this water temp is pretty cold. It's 51 degree water temp right now. But there's also a chance of catching some black drum as well. But I got a really simple rig. This is actually a very effective rig for fishing this type of way. It's a drop shot rig. So at the bottom, I have a one ounce bank sinker and I'm using 20 pound leader here. Coming to a size one J hook, and I, all I tied was a polymer knot, but I didn't cut off the tag end. So I left about a foot of tag end so I can tie my sinker on. And this is coming up to a little barrel swivel right here. So this drop shot, if you bass fish, you know what I'm talking about, but this is actually a very effective way for sheep's head fishing or bottom fishing in general, especially around structure. It allows you to fish suspended off the bottom and not get hung up as much as if you were fishing a Carolina rig because you can get hung up pretty easy in these rocks. I am throwing this on a 4,000 Shimano reel and then a seven and a half foot St. Croix medium power fast action rod. My main line is 15 pound braid. Let's go ahead and get us a fiddler crab. And all I do to hook these pretty carefully, I go through the bottom, come out the top of the shell without cracking it too much. And there is a perfectly baited up rig. Let's cast this out and see if we can get us a fish this morning. So I had just switched to a shrimp because I didn't get a bite on the filler crab and I lost that fish. Let's toss out another shrimp, see if we can get us redemption and actually get one on deck here. It's gonna be crazy because I brought more filler crabs than I did shrimp thinking filler crabs would be the ticket. But there's another bite. Oh, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. I may need the net for this one. Let it pull some drag here. Oh, come on now. Come on now. Oh yeah, it's a sheep. It's a sheepy. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna be a keeper. <laughs> I don't think that thing's gonna keep. It's a little baby. <laughs> All right. But we got him in the net. That's a beautiful sheep's head. I got the target species of the morning. Check that out. They're such pretty fish. That black and white on them just stands out. They got tall dorsal fins here and they're just pretty fish overall. And they taste delicious. They have to be 12 inches to the fork. I'll measure this one and see if he keeps because I do want to bring some meat home. So let me get my ruler and measure them. If not, I'll have to throw them back. All right, it's a keeper. I love how this rig right here doesn't get hung up. You, you get in the rocks and you just shake your rod tip a little bit and you'll get it out. That is awesome. So he's gonna go in the cooler. He's barely a keeper, but it's a keeper. Well, since I ate a shrimp, might as well put on another shrimp. Come on, buddy, let's try to get another one. I would love to have a cooler full of sheep's head today. That will be awesome. Toss that shrimp back out. This little drop shot works great fishing around these rocks because you can toss right up on the rocks and just gently reel your bait over it. Oh, there's another one. Come on. Got it. Ah, oh, it just came off. Shoot. It was a big shrimp, so. Got this one. Got this one. This one's a good one. Oh man, this one's a really good one. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, this one ain't playing around right here. 
That's a good fish. I'm gonna loosen that drag just a hair. Ah, that's a really good fish. I just hope the hook stays in them. Oh, come on. They're digging. They dig straight down. It's not a bad one. That's definitely a keeper right there. Ah, come on in. <laughs> yes, got another one. Got another one. Yo, check that out. That is a keeper sheep's head right there. That's about average size of them, you know. It's a beautiful fish. I wish y'all could see the teeth in them. If you watch my other videos, I've caught some big ones, but they have some crunchers in there, some serious teeth. This is in my top favorite fish to eat. They taste delicious. Let's go throw them in the cooler and get another one. Man, it's like instant right now. That is awesome, because I've been out for about 30 minutes throwing filler crabs and not a bite. I go toss out a shrimp and just get one after another. So let's go throw it in the cooler. I'm telling you, if you have not fished a drop shot rig before, you definitely want to try it because mostly sheep's head fishing is around jetties and rocks and bridges and stuff. And this rig right here works excellent to not get hung up. You know, that weight will go down in the rocks, but it doesn't get wedged like a Carolina rig would. And it keeps your bait suspended just above them. And you see it's working for me. So, and it's extremely easy to tie. I'm literally just using 20 pound mono leader, a Palomar knot, and then one of these bank sinkers, one ounce. So not a lot invested into this rig and it's working really well. So let's go ahead, get another shrimp on and get back to fishing. So I can show you how I tie this rig. So I do a little barrel swivel. You know, I bring out a few feet of 20 pound mono. Mono is fairly cheap, so don't be afraid to use it. But I come down about a foot from my barrel swivel. I want to double up my line here. And these hook eyes are really small. Normally you want to use a hook that's kind of got a bigger hook eye to it. But take your hook and run that doubled up mono through it, just like that. And then tie a polymer knot. If you've ever tied one, pretty simple. If you haven't, I'll show you real quick. You just do an overhand knot, just like that. You wanna wet your knots before you tighten them all the way down, so let me do that. So we're gonna take this loop and come over the hook, and then we're gonna tighten it down. And then let's give it a good tighten down here. Make sure it tightens down evenly. When you're tightening knots, you wanna do it methodically and don't just yank on it tight and down. You wanna make sure it lays right. Now we have a hook in the middle of our line just like that. Now this is where you make your desired depth of how far you want your bait off the bottom. I'm gonna do about a foot. So I'm gonna come down here, take my one ounce bank sinker and just tie a uni knot or whatever type of fishing knot you like. Now I'm gonna tie it about three times instead of the normal five wraps I do. We'll tighten it down because if you get hung up, Hopefully just the weight breaks off and then all you gotta do is tie on another weight rather than a new hook and rig. But we're rigged back up again. So let's go ahead and cut our tag in and get another bait on. Oh, there's a better one. Oh yeah, there's a better one. I hope. Started out big, not much bigger. <laughs> that's a legal fish right there so pretty much 12 and a half inches to the fork so uh, 13 inches it's legal it's going in the cooler i'm not throwing them back now it ain't much but it's honest work <laughs> you know what i'm talking about if you've ever seen that meme with that farmer it's so that's funny i can relate to that a lot we say that in the military a lot to each other but uh it's a lot of work right now trying to get these and they're not giants but they are keepers right here. So he's gonna go in the cooler. I appreciate you biting my hook. We're gonna try to catch some of your bigger buddies here. So to change it up on them a little bit, it's just a half ounce knocker jig by Bird of Prey. So with a filler crab on it, just to change it up. I've been sitting at this spot a while and I think they're getting used to what they're seeing. Let's throw them something different. There we go. A nice fiddler crab on there. See, there's a bite right there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Knocker jig, <laughs> knocked it out of the park on that one. <laughs> no pun intended. Heck yeah. Had to change it up on them and finally got one. First cast with that knocker jig. Come on, they pull so hard. It's extremely fun. That's a little bit better one too. A little bit better one. Let me get the net. <sighs> Come on, come on. 
Oh, don't come out. Swam right in the net for me. Oh, that one's one of the better ones of the day. That knocker jig got him good, didn't it? If you keep on throwing the same thing over and over again and your bites slow down or you keep on missing fish or they're just stealing your bait and you're not hooking them, change it up a little bit. I just switched from my drop shot for a little bit and first cast with that knocker jig. Got a really nice sheep's head here. Probably one of the better ones of the day. We're gonna throw this one in the cooler because we know it's legal. And we're hooking another fiddler crab up on that knocker jig. That is awesome. Beautiful fish. That was a really nice sheep's head. Let's put on another fiddler crab here. I am filling up the cooler today. That's my goal. That was one of the better fish too. See, I love sheep's head fishing because it's like one of the few saltwater fish like when you're fishing live bait that you can do a nice hook set on and not worry about pulling that hook majority of the time you know see there's a bite right there oh just like that <laughs> just cast back out and just how i was talking about where you can actually give a pretty nice hook set on them and get them there we go that's why i like that medium action rod <sighs> come on he's digging just diving down doesn't want to come up that one might make it so you don't have to use a really tiny hook on sheep's head i like using a small hook majority of the time because you'll hook them in the lip but a bigger hook allows you to get past those teeth this is a one alt hook on this jig there we go another sheep's head he's going in the cooler that's a good one right there they aren't giants like that eight pounder i called a few videos ago but these are perfect size and I'm gonna fill up the cooler full. I absolutely love to eat sheep's head. He's gonna take a nice chill ride home. Yeah, that was like the second cast with this jig and hooked them perfect. That sun came up, warmed up just a little bit and got them hungry. Oh yeah. <laughs> got him again. Got him again. I ain't a giant, cause he's actually coming up this time. This one might have to go back. Oh, he's so pretty though. <laughs> That's a pretty fish. I don't know. I'll measure it and see. I don't think he's going to keep. Thanks for biting my filler crab, buddy. He gone. All right, let's try to get some more. I'm trying to fill up my cooler because I love sheep's head. I love to eat them. And they freeze really good in a vacuum seal. They stay firm, even frozen. Say the weather's bad or something, I don't go fishing, I can eat them a couple weeks later and still have fish in the freezer. See, there's another one right there. Got it. Got it. I really like these jigs, actually, for this type of fishing. I do like these jigs. Because they're hooking them really well. Oh, man. Am I going to boat flip you? Probably. Yeah, I'm going to boat flip you. <laughs> look at that perfect hook set all right another 13 inch fish but it's a keeper let's put them in the cooler you know i got four more and then i'm limited out on sheep set and i can head home so i'm gonna try to make that a goal of mine i don't know how many i want to show catching on camera i'll probably just show a lot of highlights because i don't want to be redundant and bore you but i already have six in the cooler i just need four more for my alabama sheep's head limit that's awesome i love when plans come into action and actually work out because lord knows they don't always do that so let's toss this jig back out you know a lot of the bigger ones they get smart i've been fishing this spot pretty much all morning and so now it's just these little smaller ones that are biting the bigger ones are probably down there but they get very smart after a while same thing with big snapper but we're gonna try to fool them here there's another fish Oh, oh, that's a little bit better. That one's a little bit better. <laughs> yeah, it is. We'll change it up a little bit. We'll come on this side. A little bit better fish. Man, they pull so hard. Come on now. That's where it's very, that's where it's very important to have good tackle. Don't lock your drag down, but you know, semi-tight drag another pretty fish right there this one might go in the cooler i'm gonna get the net on him oh yeah that one's going in the cooler oh he didn't like the net he didn't like the net 
trying to do this one-handed it's not easy all right there we go that one's gonna keep this size is the perfect size so you still get a lot of meat they pull hard and you know when you hook a big sheep's head because the little ones give up pretty quick but this one here just fights till the end he's gonna go join the rest of his buddies back in the cooler now i just need three more good keepers then i'm headed home so still early it's only 9 50. oh man this is so fun oh <laughs> this one might be a better one this one might go in the cooler it's definitely pulling like a better one i love doing that snappy hook set it's, 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 it's exciting you don't have to finesse them yeah that one's going to go in the cooler if i can get them up oh he's digging he's digging 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 come on i'll still measure it but i think it's gonna be a keeper that's another one for the box this is my eighth keeper that is awesome man what a great morning Woo. Woo. been staring at the sun all morning let's reposition the boat here just need two more hope there's one come on oh yeah that's a good one that's a good one I hope this one can take a ride back home with me. Come on, that's a good one. A bumpy cold ride, but it's a ride. <laughs> Come on, get up, get up. Woo! It's a good game here. Good game. Oh, there we go. Yeah, this one's gonna be a keeper. Don't go in the trolling motor though. Man, give up. He didn't want to give up very easy, did he? All right. There's a nice 15-inch fish right there. I just need one more to polish the box off or finish it off, and we're ready to go home. Look where that jig is. I love it. I love it. I hope y'all are having fun and enjoying this so far. If you are, hit that like button down below, and let's see if we can get one more. See one more. Uno mas. <laughs> and I'm ready to go. It's been a great day catching. I hope I'm not boring y'all on this video. But these are the days that I really look forward to. Absolutely love it. See, there's a bite right there. Does he have it? Yeah, he's got it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they like the shrimp. They like the shrimp for sure. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. I don't know if he's going to keep either. You know what? That one might measure out. That one, <laughs> I, think, I think he'll polish it off just fine he looked a little small in the water which is not often so the tip of the nose to the fork in the tail pretty much right at that 13 inch mark so he's going to go in the cooler because i'm ready to go home and it's a legal fish but that's the last one there that's my legal lemon in alabama 10 fish a person this is my 10th fish so definitely made it very fun this morning for sure they're biting good chomping down on crabs and shrimp on two different techniques, the drop shot and the knocker jig. So that's always a fun time. Let me throw them in the cooler, head to the ramp and close out this video. If you enjoyed this content, please hit that like button and leave a comment down below. The comment section is awesome. I love hearing from everybody. We will see you on the next Bama saltwater fishing video. I'm gonna head back to the ramp, head home, clean these fish and we're gonna cook them up pretty good. But we'll see you on the next Pam Saltwater Fishing video. I want to thank the good Lord up above for everything he does for us. We'll see you later.